just it's very difficult uh, to see this happening in our community because I can tell you I've lived here all my life. And I know Gary, 35 years of the police department. I mean, I don't remember it being this way. I mean, maybe there was some time. Maybe you do. I don't remember as a community worrying a whole lot about the, about about crime. Maybe a little bit when there's some gang violence a while ago. But oh, I can tell you uh, back. Uh, I started in 1984, mm -hmm. and we had probably we would average anywhere from six to nine homicides a year. Uh, and then through, I believe, domestic violence policy now where it's much more proactive in trying to protect uh, the victim of domestic violence, we saw a decrease. Uh, and I think that was a great example of effective policy that had an impact on reducing homicides in the, uh, in the county and across the country. Uh, so then, you know, typically we would see two or three homicides a year. Now back up to 11, the highest ever that we've had in our county, county's history is alarming. And the fact that many of these shootings are taking place in public areas. These are not taking place in a home like you know, many of the domestic cases we've had uh, in the past. These are occurring out on the street. And obviously, innocent victims, bystanders, can be victimized by this as well. So it should be uh, something of high priority and concern uh, not only to the police department, but also the county executive. Interesting. So, I mean, what would you, like, Like, if you were still chief, what would be your thought process of what should be happening when we see these? Because it's interesting, you said you started in 1984, and that was the last time I believe that there were 11 homicides in one year. It's the year you started, and, and definitely, as you said, it went down, and now it's back up again. I mean, if you were chief, what would you be focusing on? Well, well the one thing, you have to take a look and, and dissect each of these cases. You have to look at the origin. So, uh, was this a crime of opportunity? Was this uh, where someone uh, was being robbed and the robbery went bad? Uh, is this a domestic case? Uh, is this a drug-related case? Is this a gang-related case? All those factors have to be considered. And so really you need to take a look at the homicides, the shootings that we've had, and find out what type are they. Are they drug-related? Uh, you know, we at times would have some uh, impact from the city. Uh, Howard County used to be known uh, at one point in time where a lot of the stash houses were out here in, in the county where the drugs were kept because they felt it was a safe community. And occasionally we would get some backlash uh, of uh, rivals that would come into the city and, and settle a score or whatever. Uh, so really you had to sit back and take a look at those origins and see um, what type of a homicide it is. Uh, and also where are these suspects? Are they local? Are they from the outside? So really you have to do your homework and, and take a look to see a deep dive into uh, these cases and then have an approach as to uh, what the police department can do. Sure, sure. But it's just very scary when you see 11 homicides. Well, when you have an 11-year-old girl and a 14-year-old girl, it's very scary no. from my perspective as a resident. I remember my daughter being part of this musical at River Hill called Matilda. Um, and on the last day of the show, um, just last Sunday, they were going out to dinner after the last show to celebrate the success of the show. And I remember asking her a thousand questions. Who's going with you? Who, which restaurants are you going to? Who's, are you guys going to hang out in the parking lot? If you are hanging out in the parking lot, who's going to be with you? And my daughter at one point got really irked with me and was like, what, what's about the you know, investigation? Mm. And I was like, you don't understand. As a father, I got to ask you all these questions. I know you're annoyed, <laughs> but I got to do the right thing by asking you all these questions. Absolutely. If any of the answers to these questions are not favorable to me, then you bet I'm showing up in that parking lot, yeah. whether you like it or not. Yeah. So, uh, so as a father, yeah. It's, it's a scary statistics, and I, I think the chief is right. It all comes down from policymaking. 